Hello, my name is The Trophy Wine Hunter. Welcome to my brand new channel, The Alsace Wine Journey. Why am I doing this channel? I'm so excited to learn about Alsace wines, the whole region, and I hope to culminate this with a trip to the region because I think the only real way to learn about a region and to really um, get to know it is to actually go there. So I'm gonna do all this preparation work and hopefully after COVID, I'll be able to visit this region. Why is it such an exciting region? Well, first of all, I don't know very much about it. And I think a lot of people don't know a lot about this. So I'm really excited about this channel. Um, it's a great area to know for wine lovers. A lot of wine professionals swear by this region and they think some of the best wines are there. Consumers really don't know very much about this region and it's really undertapped. Um, couple of reasons that I think it's a really interesting region that I want to get to know is first of all it's got an incredible diversity of soil and so uh, I'll explain that a little bit later in this video. Secondly because most of the wines are not aged in oak the grape varieties that you're going to discover in Alsace that's Riesling, Pinot Gris, Pinot Noir, Gewurz, Muscat you're gonna get the best expression of these grape types and grape varieties. You're really gonna get an understanding of this. Another thing with, as you know, with Burgundy prices soaring, it's really tough to drink great Pinot Noir. What does Alsace produce a very little quantity of? Um, Pinot Noir. It's because of global warming, they're getting a better uh, ripening of the Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir is becoming a more important grape. They used to plant it in the valley areas. Now they're probably gonna plant it in better areas. And I can see this going forward as a replacement, a value replacement to Burgundy. Um, so this is kind of the reasons I'm excited about this. I don't know much about the region, like most consumers. So hopefully you'll join me on this journey and we'll learn together. Okay, so let's start with the basics. We're gonna go complete the basics. Where is Alsace? Okay, so Alsace obviously is in France. It's on the border between right near Germany. Very interesting area. Maybe I'll do another video on the history of the area. Um, but it goes between German and French influences throughout the history. Uh, so I might try to put this map up, but it's t it's kind of two areas. It's it's. Um, it's bound by, it's bound by the Vosges mountains. And then on the other side, it's, it's the border of Germany and it's the um, Rhine River and the, the Black Forest. So I'm really excited about visiting this area because the Black Forest would be a really nice place to visit also. The other thing about um, Alsace, the food is tremendous and the wine is food friendly. It's made for food. So. I'm just so excited about to learn more about this area. Okay, so what makes this such a diverse area? So what happens is um, the Vo you had the Vosges Mountains and then you had on the other side the Black Forest. And in between them, they had a plate, like a, the, the, the volcanic plates. And so what happened, it kind of pushed both sides up until basically the middle collapsed. And that middle is really the Alsace region. So when it collapsed, this and this was obviously we're talking about prehistoric times, it collapsed, it kind of rumbled up all the soil. And what you have is a diversity of soil and you have different at different slopes and different places, different types of soil. That's why it's so diverse of what it can grow. The nice thing is that um, because of the, all the diversity, you have specific regions that are great for specific grapes. And so you, you can, it really is a very, very interesting area where you can plant grapes. Um, one side of the road and the other side of the road is a different grape type and you have perfect soils. For Talk a little bit more about the climate and the area because this is kind of interesting just for the basic understanding as we get ahead. And the next video we'll start right into drinking, but it's, I'm starting from the beginning because I'm trying to understand this region and, and the more I'm, um, knowing about this region, the more excited I am about drinking the wines. So again, 
Because of the Vosges Mountains on one side, what happens is all the moisture has to climb up those mountains, so all the moisture, the rain, comes off before the Vosges Mountains. When it gets to Alsace, it's really dry. And so it's what they call continental climate, but it's very dry and it has lots of sunshine. So 1800 hours per year of sunshine. Um, because it's got this hill, it's got the Vosges Mountains protecting it, um, it gets very little rain, but it's very hot in the uh, mornings and then very, very cool at night. And that actually really helps the ripening process because it actually slows down the ripening process. So what happens in Alsace is they have a very, very long ripening period. This lets the grapes mature for a long period of time. And subsequently, that means you get intense flavors. And this is the characteristics of, of Alsace. You get pure fruit in terms of the pure variety because there's not a lot of oak. And you get, because of the long ripening season, really, really intense flavors and lots of aromatics. And that's why I'm so excited about drinking these wines. So this is my initial video. Hope you continue on this journey with me. I'm going to start to learn more about the region, the history, the wine, of course, but in with that, the food. And also, um, you know, preparing for a trip there and what type of tourist attractions are there. I'm going to try and give you a link to the site. Um, it's a really exciting region for me because it's kind of something that never came on my radar. And I think we're going to enjoy this journey together. So join me back next time.